Kenya has embarked on an ambitious plan to restore their country's tree cover, which has significantly been disseminated over the years. The country expects to increase its national tree cover from over 12% to 30% in the next decade. We felt like, based on the new findings and research, that deforestation alongside with rising temperatures um, is transforming what's left of our forests, uh, keeping trees smaller and younger. And this mostly ensures a safe and healthier uh, future for our children and our children's children. Uh, if we restore these forest habitats. According to Tanya, Wush's country director, Kerita Forest has a cover of 4,720 hectares of land, which consists of 75% indigenous trees and 8% exotic trees. This makes it the highest contributor to the water consumed in Nairobi, hence more reason to plant trees. The reason why we chose Kerita Forest is, um, first of all, foremost, Historically, Kerita is known as a hideout for the Mau Mau. Yes. So after independence, it was regarded as a historical site uh, or a place of interest. And uh, the place also has multiple claves, which we assume that's where the Mau Mau would um, hide out or use as shelter. Um, and also there are a lot of trees with medic medicinal values. Um, and more than 200 uh, species of birds. It's actually considered a haven for bird watchers. So far, 1,000 trees have been planted at Kerita Forest, even as they aim to reach a target of 1 million trees. The initiative is a collaboration with the Kenya Forest Service and the Kerita Wilderness. We have a lot of uh, issues like education, food issues and stuff like that in the country. But we never really consider about the climate and the environment, which at the end of the day gives us all these things. So that's the main reason why we actually decided to do the tree planting project. The exercise is hoped to create job opportunities for local communities, shield them from the adverse effects of the harsh climate changes. When we went to Kerata, um, we discovered that the people who come to plant trees mostly do about 30 to 50 trees, some do 20 trees. They were actually very excited to see a group like us doing a thousand trees at once. Mm -hmm. And based on that, um, this will help also grow their own local community. There will be more jobs as well. And as we go along create, build, uh, um, growing those amount of trees in different areas, we're likely to also increase the level of employment in those areas among farmers. And of course, we're not limited only to Kerita. We plan to actually plant trees in Turkana, Mount Kenya, and other parts of Kenya as well. Robbie Omondi, K24.